loves welcome back to my channel i am lime green so today i have a palette by our heart revolution this is called sweet and tasty this is the popcorn palette now i'm trying to open it but i'm gonna know my nails not that long right now but this is the palette it has some gorgeous funky colors in it and i just cannot wait to use it it is so popping so I'm about to go ahead and prime my eyes and then we're going to jump right into this look. I'm also going to do some swatches at the end and then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this palette. So stay tuned and keep on watching. Alright, so I have my eyes primed. I'm using the P. Louise Eye Base. I have it in Rumor 0.5. Where is she hiding? Where are you at, girlfriend? Okay, oh, here she go. Oh, oh. Actually, I don't know where I just put her just right now. And I actually need her, so let me find her. Okay, y'all, I'm so blind, it's ridiculous. But yeah, this is the P. Louise Eye Base. So with this palette, is it has so many gorgeous colors in it. And I wanna go for like a purpley blue type look, so. I'm going to dip in lights down and I'm going to add that in this part right here of my eye. So the inner eyelid right here. So I'm just going to apply the color. All right, so I applied the color. Now I wanna blend out the color because I don't want a line of demarcation and I wanna add another color. So I'm gonna like blend this out a bit. So before it gets too ugly, I am going to go and add, I think I'm gonna add kernel right here on top let's hope this is gonna look right y'all because i'm literally just um freestyling right now i probably should use this as my transition shade all right so both my eyelids are done next i'm going to go in and cut my crease move this mirror out the way so if i'm looking this way my mirror is literally right there so so i'm going to go in with this shade it's called snack hat because i'm a snack snack craft i wanted to go in with this shade but i thought it matched too much to the background as you can see i'm already applied some to my lid i just wanted to test it out after that i'm going back in with lights down which is this shade right here and i'm just gonna blend everything together All right, so both my eyes are done. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and my eyelashes and I will get right back. All right, so, all right, so I have my face, not my face, I have my eyes done and my eyeliner done. So next I'm gonna go ahead and do my face. I'm going to use Morphe. I'm going to use F4 110 Matte. This is the Deep Olive shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this part is mainly, mainly going to be a speed through. First, I need to find my face. I'm gonna be using a Sephora mattifying primer.
thought I was recording. Sorry y'all, I thought I was recording. I just put on my, I set my um, highlight with the Kat Von D medium. And then I went in with my bronzer by Morphe, which is in the shade Leader. And now I'm about to set my nose, which is this right here. And I just looked up and I just thought I was recording. Thank God it wasn't the whole video that I was not recording. <laughs> Hope you guys I hope you guys like it so I want to go in and do my um, lower eyelid I always have to have that done I don't know why I just gotta have it done so I'm gonna go in with kernel which is this right here and I want to do like a smoke Hopefully it's showing up. I don't really see that it's showing up. Can y'all see it? It's like very subtle. Eyeliner. And then that is the final step of this tutorial. And then we have to do the swatches. all right so we are all done let's see do i like this one second okay all right so i'm back i had to fix my bronzer my foundation was looking a little bit too light my chest is looking like really red on camera but in person it matches my makeup my makeup looks darker but the lighting I guess is messing me up all right so I tried turned on my light so hopefully that worked but we're gonna do some swatches I want to swatch some shimmer shades so um shimmer shades so I want to swatch flick which is right here And then I want to swatch Melted Butter, which is this shade right here. Cute. Then I want to swatch Poppin'. Ooh, cute. And then I want to swatch Back Row. Poppin'. Next I want to swatch Cinnamon. Oh, Cinema. Oh my gosh. cute so overall this palette was very fun to work with i love the colors like they look so delicious y'all they look so delicious now i don't know if this reminds me of popcorn but i'm not complaining because i love this color combination it's really gorgeous it's funky it's just cute i really like it so I Heart Revolution, they never really disappoint me. I love the different palettes they come out with, the different color themes that they use. This is so cute. This is really nice. The camera is not doing it justice, but in person, it looks so good. So my final thoughts on this palette, I do recommend it. I believe this is beginner friendly because it's very pigmented. You do have to build, but not that much but you do have to build. So that is my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.